So guys, something happened. Hey guys, Jamie here. Welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. Okay ba ba kayo dyan? Obviously, medyo tinamaan na ako ng cabin fever. Kinagbuko sa kikli ko. But anyway, the world of tech keeps on spinning despite everything that's happening. And Huawei just launched their newest flagship device, the P40 series. Now, instead of two phones, we're getting three and they share a lot of the same specs for the processor, software, and of course, that main camera. But today, in this video, we're gonna be concentrating on the P40 Pro. Now, let's unbox this really quickly and see what it has to offer. So, ito na siya, guys. Ito yung box ng Huawei P40 Pro. It's the usual that we get from Huawei. Simple, clean, white box, nothing out of the ordinary, and you have that subtle flex that their cameras are co-engineered by Leica. And then there is a reminder down below that you will have to use their very own app gallery, plus, of course, a couple of other sources to get the essential apps. And here's everything that comes inside the packaging. Of course, first things first, yung P40 Pro itself. Now, this is the silver frost color variant. More on the phone design later, but as of now, guys, I absolutely love it. So aside from that, you have the SIM ejector pin, a jelly case, USB-C cable, the 40-watt Huawei supercharger, and USB Type-C earphones because RIP headphone jack. And that's pretty much it. Yun yung laman ng box, guys. This is a marketing unit, so you might have noticed na kulang siya ng documents. But anyway, let's get to the phone. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. So, back to the P40 Pro. Alright guys, so here it is. This is the Huawei P40 Pro in the Silver Frost color variant. And my initial reaction when I first saw this phone during their live presentation was a little shocked because it has gradient. And as you know, Huawei was known for doing the gradient really, really well. So that doesn't really mean that it has visual appeal yung mga bago lang flagships. It's a lot simpler, definitely, but it still looks fantastic. This time around, guys, they also gave us a bunch of color options plus two different finishes. Now, as you can see on screen, Isa has the blue one, which has a more of a glossy glass back that we're used to. By the way, guys, make sure you check the rest of the videos from the Tech Mob. I'll leave a link to everyone's channel down below so you can learn more about the P40 series. Personally, guys, I prefer the matte finish over the glossy one. It kind of reminds me of the OnePlus 70. It's a little bit feel in the phone. Na but anyway, let me know in the comment section which one you prefer, the matte finish or the glossy glass back that we're all used to. Now, in terms of ergonomics, guys, I'm coming from the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. So this definitely feels a lot better in the hand because that phone was just too huge. And this feels just right. Now, in terms of weight, though, they feel almost the same. Now for a quick tour of the phone, you're getting the power button and volume rocker on the right side. You have the good old IR blaster on top with a microphone as well. And on the bottom, you have access to the SIM tray, USB-C port, and speaker grill. So in terms of the display, guys, you have an OLED panel, 6.58 inches, QHD plus resolution. <laughs> And Huawei is calling this their overflow display because not only does it have curves on the sides of the phone, but my slight curves in chest at us and sababa. Actually, I'm kind of on the fence about this whether I like it or not because I don't know if durability comes into factor. Pano ko mahulung to mas breakable ba siya than other smartphones that have curves on the side or yung flat lang yung display. But yeah, I'll let you know in a couple of days. It's a very very subtle curve, guys. But I don't know. I'm just on the fence about this. In terms of picture quality, naman guys, okay naman siya so far. Now, I do have to remind you though that I just received this phone this afternoon, so I still have to really test it out. Now, no K pop this time around, but Dua Lipa's video still has a lot of colors to show you how vivid this display can get, and I am pretty happy with it so far. Now, other improvements to the Huawei P40 Pro's display is the fact that its refresh rate is now at 90 hertz. Plus, the in-display fingerprint scanner is a lot larger, which I do appreciate. It lowers the margin of error, but for the placement, I think MKBHD said this as well. It's a little bit too high for my liking. Now, before we talk about the processors and the battery capacity and the software, let's get to the main event for the P-Series, which has always been about mobile photography. 
On the P40 Pro, you're getting a quad camera setup on the back with a 50 megapixel main camera that's backed by the biggest sensor that's ever been put on a smartphone. Now this goes for all of the new P series devices. Now as a comparison guys, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra has a sensor size that's 1 over 1 33rd of an inch while the P40 Pro measures in at 1 over 1 1.28. Now anong ibig sabihin nun? Simply put guys, we can expect the P40 series to perform a lot better in low light conditions. Now for the rest of the cameras on the P40 Pro, you have a dedicated 40 megapixel cine camera at f1.9. I think this is the same one that you'll find on the Mate 30 Pro. You also have a 12 megapixel camera that's capable of five times optical zoom and a time of flight sensor. Now for taking selfies guys, I'm sure you've seen it, but they have a pill shaped cutout with a 32 megapixel camera and an IR time of flight sensor as well. Now I haven't really been able to take a lot of photos with this camera just yet because as I said earlier, I just got this phone this afternoon, but I tried my best guys. Here are some sample photos. Alright, so let's finally talk about what's under the hood of the entire P40 series and that's their newest flagship processor which is the Kirin 995G. Now we first saw this chipset on the Huawei Mate XS but the one on the P40 Pro is paired with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. Again guys, I didn't the P40 Pro earlier, so I didn't get much of it, nakakalikot, but here are the results from Geekbench for now. Be sure to check back in the next few days for its full review. So in terms of software guys, you are getting EMUI 10.1 that's based on Android 10 and I mentioned ko nga kanina, you will have to use the app gallery plus a few other sources to get your essential apps but to be fair guys, they are beefing up the app gallery really really fast so hopefully makonsolidate nila lahat ng apps na kailangan natin into the app gallery so doon na lang tayo mag-download ng apps in the future. Now for the battery life guys, you have a 4200 mAh battery with support for Huawei Supercharge at 40 watts. Now Huawei smartphones have always been known to be long lasting so I can see this phone lasting for at least a day and a half but I will have to test it out further. And in terms of charging naman, if I remember correctly that will have from 0 to 100% siguro mga 1 hour so bago kayo maligo, i-plug nyo muna yung smartphone nyo get ready, and then by the time you have to leave for work, you should have full charge or at least close to full charge for the entire day. So last but not the least guys, very important, let's talk about the price of this smartphone. Now the P40, if you didn't know, is priced at 36990 while the P40 Pro is priced at 50990 No word yet if we're getting the Pro Plus here in the Philippines, but we will update you on the website if we find out more. Now, if you do decide to pre-order this smartphone, I think open it until April 24, you are getting a lot of freebies. I will leave a link down below so you can check it out and para sure tayo sa information kasi baka mali yung masabi ko. All right, guys, before I end this video, I did ask you guys on Instagram to send me questions about the P40 series and I will be answering them to the best of my abilities. And the first one is with at fly with Miko. I actually already replied to your comment, but he asks, how does its camera compare to the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the S20 Ultra? We are going to be finding out, but the uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max definitely wala sa akin, or unfortunately wala sa akin. We're going to have to do that at a later time when the quarantine has been lifted. But the S20, definitely I will be doing a camera comparison between these two smartphones. Stay tuned, but I do have to remind you guys, we are under quarantine, so you're going to have to excuse the photos I'm going to be taking. It's mostly going to be my gunpla collection or just outside the street. I'm going to be as creative as I can uh, so you can have a good comparison between these two smartphones. But yeah, check back in the next week or so maybe. Now the next question is from Felix Diniga 7 Hopefully I didn't butcher your name. He asks, what's new with the P40 series compared to the P30 series and what is the upgrade except from the Penta camera. Of course, you have the new chipset, which is the Kirin 990, which is 5G capable, by the way. And then you have, of course, your screen refresh rate, which is now 90 Hertz. 
and yung overflow display nga which has curves on both the left and right side plus the top on bottom which again I am on the fence on I'm not sure if I like it or not but yeah those are the main upgrades but we also will be doing a comparison between the P30 Pro which I still have right here on an amber sunrise if you remember that colorway which is our favorite from last year and the P40 Pro so you can see if it's worth the upgrade if you're just coming from the previous generation of course the next question not of course the next question is from Ken X Milton who asks, what is the rectangular shape near the Leica text? That's the 12 megapixel telephoto camera. It has a periscope setup like most uh, hybrid zoom cameras are capable of right now. So there you have it. That is the periscope 12 megapixel camera. It's the same one as the S20 Ultra and the Find X2 Pro. So there you go, guys. That's it for our hands-on review for the P40 Pro plus a couple of Q&A things. So make sure you check us out on Instagram. I will be throwing questions out there for you guys to be able to ask me questions and I will be trying to answer them on this video or next videos, I should say. But anyway, there you go, guys. Again, see you later. Thank you for spending a couple of minutes with me. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, sub to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. If you have more questions about the P40 Pro and the P40 series, leave them down below and I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can. For all the latest tech news and gadget reviews, head to Unbox.ph+. Follow us on Facebook and again on Instagram. My name is Jamie. Peace, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time. Again, keep safe, guys. Wash your hands. Bye.